It's a beautiful sunny day. Moosty is going to the farm. Maybe Farmer Giles would like a little help. But look! It seems as if Moosty is not alone. That dark mark on the ground is going wherever Moosty goes. That's strange. That dark mark seems to be doing everything I'm doing. I'll just check. Yep, that mark does exactly what I do. That's cool! Chuckles Moosty. But when a big dark cloud slides in front of the sun, Moosty is all alone again. He wonders what could have happened. But before he can think about it, he hears something. Hello? Wait a minute! You just chased away my friend! The last goose turns around and asks, What friend? I didn't see any friend. He was here just a minute ago. He followed me everywhere, says Moosty. Well, what does he look like? Asks the goose. He was like a big dark mark on the ground that did everything I did. Look! The goose laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> that was your shadow. But I honestly don't know where it went. I hope you find it soon. Bye! And so Moosty continues searching. Have you lost something? Asks a gentle voice. It's a snowy white swan. Yeah, Moosty nods. I lost my shadow. I can't find it anywhere. You're not the only one, says the swan. I lost my shadow too. I'm looking for it right now. Good luck finding yours. And Moosty continues searching. Hello, Moosty. Why do you look so sad? Is something wrong? There is something wrong. I lost my shadow. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, says the peacock. You should be more careful with it. I always keep a close eye on my shadow so it won't get lost. Oh, right. Where is it then? I can't see it anywhere. Oh, no! The peacock exclaims and fans out her tail in shock. Wonderful! Says Moosty. Bravo! But the peacock has already hurried off in search of her shadow. Moosty is left alone again. Or is he? It's Mr. Owl. Hello, Mr. Owl, says Moosty relieved. I'm so glad to see you, because you're really smart. I bet you know where my shadow is. So you're looking for your shadow, asks the wise Mr. Owl. Well, I can't give it back to you. You'll just have to wait. Wait until the sun comes out again. Moments later, Moosty feels the warmth of the sun, and his shadow comes back. Thank you, Mr. Owl! He shouts excitedly and continues walking. And look! There's the peacock again! I've got my shadow back! She says joyfully. Me too! Laughs Moosty. Thanks to Mr. Owl! Actually, Thanks to the sun! Oops! There goes my ball! Too bad Mr. Rabbit's not here. He could kick it back to me. scared? It's me, Moosty. Hey, I know you. You're one of Mr. Rabbit's nephews. Come on. I'll bring you back to his burrow. 
Look, there's his burrow. Mr. Rabbit, are you home? He's here. I can hear him coming. <sighs> oh, hey, what's up, Moosty? I was just taking a little nap. Who's your friend here? Hey, wait a minute. That's my nephew, Blue here. How did he end up with you? And where are all the others? They're all gone. What am I going to do? <laughs> Stay calm. First, tell me who's missing. The other two. You know, Yellow Ear and Ginger Ear. I think they must have ran off while I was still asleep. They couldn't have gone far. Maybe they're hiding in the garden somewhere. Here, you look after little Blue Ear. I'll go look for them. Blue Ear stands next to Mr. Rabbit and hangs his little head. I'm really, really sorry, he mumbles. Meanwhile, Moosty continues his search through the garden. He hears something near the garden shed. And look! Moosty found the two other rabbits. Hello there, he says. The little rabbits are startled. Don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm Moosty. I was looking for you. Your Uncle Rabbit is very worried. When he woke up, he didn't know where you were. Is he mad at us? Asked Ginger Ear. Well, he's pretty upset. <laughs> But he'll be happy that I found you safe and sound. Come on, let's hurry back to him. Blue Ear is already there. All right, here they come. You found them already. Mr. Rabbit sighs with relief. We're really sorry for running off. Ginger Ear and Yellow Ear whisper timidly and then quickly huddle away. All this running around must have worn them out, <laughs> says Moosty with a smile. I'm going to head back home, but I'll be back after I have a bite to eat. Then we can play, if you guys want to. With a ball? Asks Ginger Ear. Yep, nods Moosty. We can play kickball. I'll leave it here with you. See you later. See you later, Moosey. Peace at last, sighs Mr. Rabbit. I'm going back to sleep. Good morning, Moosey. Good morning, Mommy. Look at all that snow, says Moosey. Yes, there's a lot. You'll be able to play in it later. It's freezing, says Moosty. You can say that again, he hears suddenly. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Rabbit, just look at you. Your ears look like two frozen carrots. G go ahead, have a good laugh, shivers Mr. Rabbit. My burrow is snow covered. I had to sleep outside last night and it was really, really cold. <laughs> but Mr. Rabbit, Sleeping outside in this weather? You can't do that, you'll get sick. Pretty cold, isn't it? Says Mr. Dog. Oh, what happened to you, Mr. Rabbit? You look like a snow rabbit. This isn't funny. No, don't laugh, Mr. Dog. Mr. Rabbit has a really big problem. A problem? What problem? My burrow is snowed shut. I don't have anywhere to sleep. I see. Maybe I can help you out. Jump onto the sled and come along with me. <laughs> oh. 
of you come out in this weather for eggs? Not today, Mother Hen. Mr. Rabbit's burrow is full of snow. Can you please spare a little straw to make it warm and dry again? Of course. Take as much straw as you need. And the roof from the old chicken coop? Why don't you take that too? What a great idea. Don't you think so, Mr. Rabbit? No, I don't think so. I'm not sleeping on straw underneath a roof. I'm a rabbit. I'm not sleeping in an old chicken coop. Come on, Moosey. I'll carry the roof. Can you get the straw and a shovel too? Then we can show that ungrateful snow rabbit what we need. Can't you hurry up? I'm freezing! So, first some warm straw, and now the roof. Come on, Mr. Rabbit, help Boosty push. Push, Mr. Rabbit, just a little bit more. That roof is way too heavy. That's wonderful. Now Mr. Rabbit will be warm and dry all winter. Your burrow can't get snowed in anymore, Mr. Rabbit. <sighs> ah, what's so special about that? I could have thought of that myself, says Mr. Rabbit, ducking into his burrow as quickly as lightning. He's unbelievable, says Mr. Dog, surprised. What an ungrateful rabbit. You're absolutely right, Mr. Dog. An ungrateful snow rabbit. A shiver rabbit. <laughs> Laughs Mr. Dog. Do you want to throw snowballs? Asks Moosty. Great idea! Cheers, Mr. Dog. Come on, let's have a snowball fight. A snowball fight? Can I join in? That was a hit. <laughs> that will teach you to be ungrateful, Mr. Rabbit. Laughs Moosty. <laughs> Ooh. And that was to thank you for your help. <laughs> it's a lovely summer's day. Miss Tortoise and Mr. Rabbit are having a cozy picnic. Listen, Miss Tortoise, that's the ice cream man's bell. Come on, let's see if Moosey will buy us some ice cream. Hey, not so fast, Mr. Rabbit. Wait for me. Hurry up, or we'll be too late. Hey there, here I am. Hello, Mr. Rabbit, says Mommy. Would you like some ice cream too? Yes, please, I would love some. Here you are, a delicious ice cream cone for Mr. Rabbit. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. So where's Miss Tortoise? Asks Moosty. Doesn't she want some ice cream? No, not today. She said she'd rather have some tasty lettuce. Hey, wait for me. Don't drive away. I want some ice cream, too! I thought you didn't want ice cream. You wanted lettuce. I wanted lettuce? Who said that? Mr. Rabbit did. Isn't that right, Mr. Rabbit? Uh, that was just a joke. <laughs> a joke? Well, I don't think it's funny. Now I don't have any ice cream. Mr. Rabbit, that wasn't very nice of you. I don't think jokes like that are funny either. Oh well, but I do. <laughs> we'll see about that, Mr. Rabbit. Mm. Here, Miss Tortoise. All right, the ice cream man is here again. Hey, 
where's the ice cream man? I heard his bell. The ringing is coming from the other side of the house. Hurry. Hey, Moosty. Did I make it? Where's the ice cream man? I heard his bell. What ice cream man? There's no ice cream man. I was ringing the bell. Hey, Moosty, that's not very funny. You made me run all this way for nothing. Not funny, but yesterday you made Miss Tortoise run all that way for nothing. Yes, and besides, you think jokes like this are funny. You said so yourself. Yeah, but that was different. What I mean is... Uh, yes, Mr. Rabbit, what do you mean? I mean, I'm sorry, Miss Tortoise. I'll never do it again. Very good, Mr. Rabbit. That's much better. Now we can all be friends again. Was that you, Moosty? No, no. That's the real ice cream man. Come on, I'm going to ask Mommy to buy ice cream for everybody. Wait for me. Here you are. Oh, thank you. This isn't a joke. This is real ice cream. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Thank you, Moosty. Dig in, Miss Tortoise. The sun has just risen. It's going to be a lovely day. In the woods, everyone is already awake. Mr. Rabbit has already been out for a walk. Ow! What in the world is that? Someone threw another empty tin can into my burrow. Ah! All that dirty trash. My burrow is not a garbage can. Ugh. People are ruining our woods with all their litter. Mr. Rabbit's right. The woods are full of litter. I'm going to tell Moosey about this. He'll be able to help. Moosty! Moosty! I have to tell you something. Mr. Rabbit, what's the matter? You look really upset. Moosty, you have to come and see this. People have been throwing their garbage in our woods. It's all over the place. It's filthy. We have to do something, Moosty. Is it really that bad, Mr. Rabbit? Yes, it's really bad. Come with me. We'll go get Sam and Laura, and then together we'll clean up the woods. A little while later, our friends are hard at work. Everywhere they look, they find garbage that doesn't belong in the woods. Look, Moosty! Empty bottles! That's dangerous! Miss Tortoise is searching under all the bushes. Look at all this litter! Mr. Rabbit is searching throughout all the burrows. Uh, uh. Everywhere he looks, he finds things that shouldn't be there. Before long, the cart is completely full. I think that's everything, Moosty. In that case, we'll take everything home and put it outside for the trash collector. Come on, Sam, let's go! Uh. The cart is way too heavy, Moosty. You'll all have to push. One, two, three, and push! There you go, says Miss Tortoise encouragingly. Hey, Moosty, now the woods are nice and clean. But when the people come back, they'll probably throw their trash all over the place again. At this rate, we'll be cleaning up every week. That's true, Mr. Rabbit. We'll have to ask Daddy what we should do. Mm. 
look over here, everyone. We're going to put up these signs all over the woods. Then people will realize that they can't just leave their litter anywhere. Trash belongs in the garbage can. We'll put garbage cans throughout the woods, too. There we go, Sam. That's great. There we go, Laura. Good job, Moosty. There we go, Miss Tortoise. That's very good, Mr. Rabbit. We're setting a good example. When all the children and their mommies and daddies clean up too, then they'll always be welcome to come play in our woods. Moosty looks out the window. It has finally stopped raining. Moosty hurries to Mommy. Mommy, can I go outside, please? It's not raining anymore. All right, Moosty, but make sure you wear your rain boots, otherwise you'll get your paws wet. A few moments later, Moosty is walking through the wet grass. Oops, a raindrop lands right on his nose. And then another one, splash, on top of a rose. Oh no! Ribbit. Huh? Hey, what are you up to? Ribbit. I, I, I was just drying off the rose. Ribbit. You shouldn't do that. Flowers need water. Lots of water. Otherwise, their petals will wilt. Ribbit. Yeah, I know that, says Moosty. Of course, rain is very important for all plants and for all flowers. Do you like the rain? Ribbit. Very much. Oh no. There's that crazy duck again. I'm off. Bye. Hello, Miss Duck, says Moosty. Can I ask you something? Do you like the rain? Oh yes. Rain doesn't bother me. I love water. Look! That's the last we'll see of her today. Oh, it's you. Hello, Mr. Raven. Hello, Moosty. Have you also come to have a good wash in the pond? I've got my own bath at home, says Moosty. <laughs> well, I bathe here, like this. Cause Mr. Raven. And then he shakes off the water from his feathers. Suddenly, the stone comes to life. Mr. Raven is startled. He quickly flies away. Hello, Miss Tortoise. I hadn't recognized your shell. Yes, I know, Moosty, I know. I'm a little bit dirty. Everything is all muddy because of the rain. But luckily, my shell keeps me nice and dry. Things are much worse for Mr. Dog. His dog house is completely flooded. Mr. Dog's house? Says Moosty in surprise. Oh, yes. I'd like to help him, but I'm far too small. Maybe you could do something. And there's Mr. Dog gazing sadly at his dog house. Oh, boy. Whatever am I going to do now? Where can I sleep tonight? Hey, what's all this? Hello, Mr. Dog. I'm here to help you. If you pull the rope really hard, we can drag your doghouse back to somewhere dry. And look! Working together, that's just what they do. Thank you so much, says Mr. Dog. And he gives Moosty a big hug. I don't like the rain very much, you know. But some animals do like it. Whoops, it's starting again. Then I better hurry home. Bye, Moosty. Thanks again. Bye, Mr. Dog. 
And then Mr. Dog quickly ducks back into the shelter of his nice dry doghouse. Hmm. It's time to party! The carnival is here! Daddy is making a mask for Moosty. It's wonderful! Moosty exclaims enthusiastically. Can I try it on? Of course! Says his daddy. There, now you're ready to meet your friends. Yeah, but first I have to show Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Thanks for the great mask. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Mommy turns around and is startled. <gasps> but then she starts to laugh. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you, she says. Your mask is fantastic. I'm going to see my friends now, says Moosty. Don't go too far, Moosty. Dinner is almost ready. Okay, Mommy, I won't, promises Moosty. Mommy gives him a big smile. Moosty goes out looking for his friends. Oh, look! There's Miss Tortoise! Hello! calls Moosty. Hello! replies Miss Tortoise, continuing on her way. Miss Tortoise suddenly stops. Who are you? she asks. Don't you recognize me? asks Moosty. Oh, it's you! laughs Miss Tortoise. My daddy made me a mask! It's wonderful! I'd love to have one like that. I only have one, says Moosty sadly. That's too bad. Wait, I have an idea! exclaims Moosty. Let's head back to my house and get another mask for you. And Moosty rushes off. Hey, wait, not so fast. But Moosty ran too far ahead to hear Miss Tortoise. He ran so fast that he's already home. He grabs the mask off the front door and rushes back. <sighs> Look what I got for you. I love it, says Miss Tortoise. Thank you so much. Now I can go to the carnival too. Our two happy friends head off to see Mr. Rabbit. Hello, Hello they yell together. Mr. Rabbit turns around and is startled. He dives right into his burrow. A moment later, he peeks his nose out. Hello! Hello. Moosty and Miss Tortoise say again. What can I do for you? Asks Mr. Rabbit cautiously. Moosty and Miss Tortoise start to laugh. And Moosty takes off his mask. <laughs> it's us, Moosty and Miss Tortoise. Really? Says Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> wow, I didn't recognize you at all. You look really cool. Do you have another mask like that for me? Then we could go to the carnival together. We only have two masks, says Moosty. I'm really sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, that's okay, I understand, says a very disappointed Mr. Rabbit. Moosty, time to eat. My mommy is calling, says Moosty. I have to go home. But first I want to do one more thing. Here, you can have my mask. That way you can go to the carnival too. A very happy Moosty heads home for dinner. He feels good that he could make his friends happy too. The whole family is on vacation at the beach. Moosty's building a sandcastle. Ah! All it needs now is a flag on top and your castle will be finished, Moosty. There you go, Coco. What do you think of that? Ah! Nice work, Moosty. Yes, it's a fine castle, son. But look at this. How would you like to fly a nice kite? It's a beautiful day to fly a kite, isn't it? Wow, that's
That's an awesome kite, Daddy. Is it for us? Yep, I just bought it. If it can fly as good as me, then it's a really good kite, that's for sure. Well, we'll find out soon. Let's give it a try. Come on. There's enough wind here, Moosty. We'll fly the kite here. Uh-huh. Huh? You take the string and walk over to Coco. Uh, I'll stay here with the kite. Uh, 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 Pull the string tighter, Moosty. Is this tight enough, Daddy? Perfect. Get ready. Here it goes. Yippee! All right, it flies really well. Ah, I'm going to take a closer look. You're a good kite pilot, Moosty. Hey, watch out, not so fast. Sorry, Coco, that was the wind. Give it more string, Moosty. Let it fly higher. Twirling and spinning, the kite climbs higher and higher. That was good, huh, Daddy? Very good, Moosty. Can I try it now? Uh-huh. Pull, Daddy. There you go. I'm going to send it even higher, Moosty. Oh, no. The string ran out. There goes our kite. Don't worry. I'll follow it. Come on, Moosey. Let's chase after it. The wind carries the kite through the air. Coco tries to follow it. And then the kite drops down, right on top of a palm tree. Oh, no. It's caught in that palm tree. We'll never be able to reach it up there. I can get it, but my beak might damage it. Wait right here. I'll go get some help. I wonder what Coco is going to come up with now. Look, this is my friend Pedro. He can climb any tree. It's a nice to meet you, amigos of Coco. How can I help you today? Hello, Pedro. Our kite is stuck up in that palm tree. Can you get it down for us, Mr. Pedro? Well, I only climb a trees if there are bananas in them. You know, I can only see coconuts here, and those are much too hard to eat. If you get our kite down, then we'll give you lots of bananas. How about that, Pedro? Fantastico! I'm already on my way. Be careful, Pedro. Make sure that you don't tear our kite. Uh, no problem. Here's your kite. Ready and catch. Bravo, Pedro. Thank you. Now, uh, where are those uh, bananas? Come along with us, Pedro. A little while later, Pedro enjoys a tasty banana. Moosty has some delicious ice cream. Mm. And Coco is very happy with his peanuts. Ah! Moosty is going to the farm this morning to get some fresh eggs. It's a very hot day. Maybe Mommy will make some delicious ice pops for later, he thinks. A little bit later, he walks towards the farm, happily swinging his basket. That's strange. There's nobody here. Where is everyone? Oink the pig is not in his mud bath. Boomer the horse is not in the stable. And Miss Cow is not in the field. Moosty doesn't understand. He looks around again. Fortunately, Mr. Cockerel is there. Hey, Mr. Cockerel, where is everyone? Shh, not so loud, Mr. Cockerel says. Today is a great day for Mother Hen. She'll have little chicks soon. It won't be long now. Do you mean that her chicks will be born today? Moosty whispers. 
That's exactly what I mean, Mr. Cockerel says proudly. Go and take a look in the chicken coop, but don't make any noise. Moosty is excited and walks towards the chicken coop. And look, everyone is there, waiting. First, he greets the ducks, who are moving their beaks without making a sound today. Oink is just staring ahead without moving a muscle. Boomer the horse is also very quiet and shakes his head very gently. Miss Cow is shaking her tail and winks at Moosty. Careful not to make a sound, Moosty goes into the chicken coop. And there's Mother Hen on her nest as usual. Hello, Mother Hen, Moosty whispers. Is everything all right? Is there anything I can do for you? Mother Hen gets up from the nest, which has four eggs in it. All we can do now is wait, Mother Hen says. But I think it could happen any moment now. Look, there, it's happening. It seems as if the eggs are moving. Cracks are starting to appear everywhere. Then they crack open one by one, and suddenly... Four cute chicks are sitting in the nest. Mother Hen looks at her children with pride. They look so cute, Moosty says. I could hug them all. But the chicks just want to sleep and be close to their mommy. I should get going now, Moosty whispers. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, Mother Hen. When Moosty leaves the chicken coop, all his friends are impatiently waiting outside. And how are things going in there? Boomer asks. Yes, please tell us, Miss Cow says. We've been waiting for so long. Everything went fine, Moosty says cheerfully. Mother Hen now has four cute little chicks. They're fit as a fiddle and they're sleeping quietly. <laughs> everyone breathes a sigh of relief. And now I'm going home to tell everyone the big news, Moosty says. I'm sure Mommy won't mind that I'm coming back with an empty basket. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. And the proud daddy, Mr. Cockerel, crows. Ah, ah, ah! Moosty's wearing a crown. It's his birthday today, and he invited all his friends over for a pancake party. Miss Tortoise really likes pancakes. Mmm, <laughs> yum! Pancakes! That's a nice change from carrots. I bet I can eat ten pancakes! Well, I'm as hungry as a wolf. I'm going to eat twelve pancakes. Come on, Mr. Dog, you shouldn't be so greedy. And Mr. Rabbit, if you eat too many pancakes, you'll be sick. Not me, Moosty. Don't worry, I've got a very strong tummy. And I've got the biggest tummy in the whole world. Can I have another pancake, Sam? Here you go. Laura, can you help me unwrap my presents? I'll have another pancake later. They might disappear into our tummies by then, right, Mr. Dog? Wow, look at this! A picture of the three of us together! Moosty exclaims happily when he sees his present from Sam and Laura. Yeah, it's for your bedroom! Oh, and look at this! What a pretty drawing! I wonder who gave me this? That's from me, Moosty! I made it all by myself! Thank you for the wonderful presents, everyone! You're all such wonderful friends! Come on, let's have some more pancakes. But when Moosty and his friends get back to the birthday table, all of the pancakes are gone. They've all been eaten. Moosty, look! All the pancakes are gone. There were piles of them. Where could they have disappeared to? How is that possible? 
Mr. Rabbit, where are all the pancakes? <laughs> Mr. Dog and I have eaten them all. <laughs> but Mr. Dog ate more than I did. Oh, Mr. Dog. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, must sleep. I'm really tired, too. I can barely keep my eyes open. Oh, my tummy. Are you coming back to my burrow, too, Miss Tortoise? Let's take oh. a little nap. All right, I'll come along with you, greedy Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> this is the first time I've been quicker than a rabbit. Not so fast, Miss Tortoise. I can't keep up. Are you feeling better now, Mr. Rabbit? I think so. I'll just hop into my burrow. I'll be okay soon. Sleep tight, Miss Tortoise. Sleep <sighs> tight. Oh. Help! Help! What are you doing now, Mr. Rabbit? Help! I'm stuck! My burrow is shrunk! <laughs> no, no! Your burrow hasn't shrunk. Your tummy has grown too big. I'll have to get help to pull you out of there. Hurry! It'll be dark soon! A little while later, Moosey arrives and rescues Mr. Rabbit. Are you okay, Mr. Rabbit? Thank you, Moosey. I'm much better. But I won't be able to sleep in my burrow tonight. Then you can stay with me. But just for tonight. That would be great! Thank you! It's no problem. But you have to promise never to eat that many pancakes ever again. I promise, Moosty. I'll never be greedy again. Come on, Mr. Rabbit. It's time for bed. Not so fast, Moosty. My tummy is really heavy. <laughs> and that night, Mr. Rabbit and Moosty both snuggle up in Moosty's warm little bed. Mmm, delicious pancakes. Mr. Rabbit whispers in his sleep.